Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this polished raised text effect. Open a new document and let's create a background. First, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to grey. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Let's select this layer and create a new layer. Next, select the type tool and type your text. Let's resize it and change the font style. Now change the fill to none. We will be directly adjusting this in the appearance panel. Go to window and select appearance. Now let's add a new fill. To do that just click on the add new fill icon from the bottom. Next we will apply a gradient to it. Make sure your gradient window is open. If it's not, go to Window and select Gradient. From the Gradient panel, click on this little arrow to open the presets and select the white and black gradient. Leave the type as it is, change the location of the first white color stub to 40 and set the angle to negative 90. Let's add a new fill. With the fill layer still selected, click on the Add New Fill icon from the bottom. Illustrator automatically copies the same fill and places it on top of the existing one. Let's change the new fill to white and move it under the gradient layer. Just click, hold and drag. When I turn off the visibility of the gradient layer, you can see we've got a white fill under it. Next, we will make the white text a little bigger. To do that, select the white fill layer, go to Effect, Path, Offset Path and change the offset to 1. Then go to Effect again, select Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Now change the vertical move to 1 and click OK. Let's duplicate the white fill. Just click, hold and drag it to the duplicate selected item icon and change its color to black. Now let's move it under the white fill layer. Select the bottom layer now click on this little arrow to expand the attributes of the fill and click on the transform to open the transform effect dialog box. This time let's change the vertical move to 2. Select the black fill layer and let's duplicate it. For this layer we will create a long shadow effect. Go to the gradient panel and choose the white and black gradient. Let's move it underneath the black fill. Next we will modify the gradient. Click on the reverse gradient icon to swap the colors and we will add two more color stops. One here and another one here. Let's get rid of the white color stop and copy the second one in its place. Now change the angle to negative 90. Next click on this arrow and let's edit the transform effect. Change the vertical move to 1 and the copies to 10. Next we will add a drop shadow effect. With the gradient first selected, go to Effect Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. Change the opacity to 100, the X offset to 0, the Y offset to 2 and the Blur to 2. Now if you like you can save this style to your graphic styles. Open the graphic styles window. If you don't have it open go to Window and select Graphic Styles. Click on the new graphic style icon. Then from the graphic styles libraries menu, select save graphic styles. 
name it whatever you like and click Save. Now you can type a new text and add this saved graphic style to it. You could change the existing word to something else or adjust the attributes of any of these effects in the appearance panel. Like for example, make a long shadow a little longer. Adjust the gradients or change the background color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.